Queen Elizabeth II lived to an impressive 96 years. Not only did she relish a remarkably prolonged and vibrant life, but she also bypassed the trials of cancer, dementia, and other ailments. A testament to her vitality, she continued to maneuver her Range Rover through the grounds of Windsor Castle at the age of 95. Just a mere two days before bidding her final adieu, the Queen appointed Liz Truss as the Prime Minister of Britain. While she undoubtedly had access to premier medical care and a commendable genetic heritage, her mother graced 101 years, although her father's life was cut short at the age of 56, it might surprise many to learn that the secrets to her vitality are easily accessible to us common folk. Renowned British culture researcher Brian Kozlowski delved extensively into the Queen's life, unraveling the mysteries behind her longevity, robust health, and unwavering stamina in his celebrated 2020 publication, Long Live the Queen. 23 Rules for Living from Britain's Longest Reigning Monarch. Speaking with the New York Post, he lauded the monarch as the epitome of well-being and vitality. In this video, we will highlight five aspects of the Queen's lifestyle that contributed to her enduring 96 years, including an exploration of her top five dietary choices. Skin. Avoid the sun. The Queen's impeccable skin, which has remained remarkably resilient over the years, owes much to her careful avoidance of the sun's direct rays. Regularly retreating to the serene Balmoral Castle in Scotland for summer retreat, she consciously evaded the tropical sun. Even during her public outdoor appearances, the Queen was often spotted taking precautions to shield herself from the sun's potentially harmful effects. This steadfast practice has undoubtedly contributed to her enduringly youthful complexion. Scientific evidence indicates that an overwhelming 80% of wrinkles and age spots can be attributed to the damaging impact of UV rays. Strict routine and good sleep. The cornerstone of Her Majesty's robust lifestyle is a structured daily regimen, rising promptly at 7.30 a.m. with a cup of Earl Grey tea and ending the day at 11 p.m. with a good book, affording the Queen a solid eight hours of slumber. Studies reveal that the optimal range typically falls between seven to eight hours per night. A comprehensive study tracking over 21,000 twins across a span of more than 22 years found that individuals who consistently slept less than 7 hours or exceeded 8 hours per night faced an elevated risk of mortality, marked at 24% and 17% respectively. Furthermore, reliance on sleep aids, indicating underlying sleep disturbance, magnified the risk of mortality by about 30%. One of the most effective approaches to fostering sound and restful sleep is regular physical activities. Exercise. In the book, Long Live the Queen, 23 Rules for Living from Britain's Longest Reigning Monarch, the author writes, To achieve longevity, most people tend to think you need to maintain a rigorous fitness regime, not the Queen. She is a great believer in sensible exercise, such as brisk walks with her corgis and horseback riding. Research says the types of exercise you keep up are the ones which give you pleasure. When it came to exercising, the Queen did not have an intense workout routine. However, for many years her daily exercises were walks with her beloved corgis and horseback rides. Walking is one of the best exercises for all ages, and a recent study by Professor Borgia del Pozo Cruz from Spain found walking 10,000 steps a day could cut the risk of dementia in half. For those who can't walk so far, just 4,000 daily steps can reduce dementia risk by a quarter. Also, faster steps provide superior results. Participants who walked briskly, about 80 to 100 steps a minute, even for short periods had a 30% lower risk of developing dementia compared to people who walked roughly the same amount at a slower pace. They also had reduced risk of developing cancer and cardiovascular disease. According to the National Institute of Health, United States, interacting with animals can lower cortisol levels, decrease blood pressure, and help in managing stress. Cortisol is a steroid hormone that is produced by your two adrenal glands, which sit on top of each kidney. When you are stressed, increased cortisol is released into your bloodstream. Having the right cortisol balance is essential for your health, and producing too much or too little cortisol can cause health problems. Longevity specialist Dr. Vincent DeMarco says that after a good diet, exercise offers the most health benefits. Maintain a constant body weight. With her life always being in the spotlight for almost a century, the Queen has never appeared overweight. According to Dr. Walter Willett, chair of the Department of Nutrition at the Harvard School of Public Health, next to not smoking, staying lean is probably the most important thing we can do to stay healthy and live longer. This could also be the secret to the slim and trim Prince Philip who lived to 99. Leanness matters because fat cells produce hormones that raise the risk of type 2 diabetes. Study after study confirms that extra weight, especially around the belly, cuts years off your life. 
Then, what did the queen eat to stay constant in her weight over the years? The most important takeaway from the queen's diet is that she ate everything but in moderation. The queen preferred simple comfort meals like many people of her generation who lived through World War II. Her meals are mostly high in protein and low in carbs. Breakfast. The queen started every morning with a cup of Earl Grey tea without milk or sugar. Tea? Earl Grey or bergamot tea is made by combining black tea and bergamot orange extract. Possible health benefits from Earl Grey tea is that black tea is rich in various antioxidant properties such as catechins. Catechins are also found in green tea and cocoa products. Catechins could inhibit carcinogenesis, tumor growth and cancer cell invasion, etc. Also, black tea has been linked to decreased blood pressure, while bergamot products have been shown to lower cholesterol levels. The flavonoids in bergamot tea may fight inflammation associated with digestive issues. If drinking tea is not your cup of tea then drinking warm water helps with longevity. Drinking warm water upon rising helps to wake up your body's metabolism, activating your body's fuel and fat burning capacities. Drinking warm water also relieves nasal congestion and sinus headache. It can improve digestion and helps to clear out waste products that have built up overnight and easing constipation issues. Drinking warm water at about 140 Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius helps one to sweat and detox. Lunch According to former royal chef at Buckingham Palace, Darren McGrady, the queen favors unpretentious main meals such as grilled fish and vegetables or chicken salad, and dislikes strong flavors such as garlic or spices. Queen wasn't a real foodie. She eats to live. She doesn't live to eat. The menus that we did were pretty much the same. He explained, she eats to live, unlike Prince Philip who loves to eat and would stand and talk food all day. Fun fact, the Duke of Edinburgh who lived to 99 was a barbecue enthusiast. When she dines on her own, he added, she's very disciplined. No starch is the rule. No potatoes, rice, pasta, anything starchy, when she's eating alone. Fish. Her Majesty enjoys all kinds of fish, whether it's smoked salmon, trout and mackerel in Glen Eagle's pate, or grilled halibut or Dover sole on a bed of spinach or zucchini. The Queen enjoys healthy, lean protein together with fresh vegetables. These fish are all great sources of the proteins our body needs to build muscles, bone and cartilage. Omega-3 fatty acids abundant in fatty fish like freshly caught salmon have been linked to a decrease in the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Halibut and Dover sole are more lean, but they also contain beneficial fatty acids like EPA and DHA without too much fat. One of the best ways to cook fish is baked, grilled, or steamed, which are the cooking methods the queen preferred. Afternoon tea. For afternoon tea, the monarch enjoyed drinking Darjeeling with sandwiches and scones. Darjeeling tea brews contain flavonoids or phytonutrient-rich plant pigments. These are responsible for keeping our cholesterol levels in check reducing the risks of heart-related ailments such as strokes and high blood pressure. In addition, the brews also help regulate the blood flow and are rich in quercetin. This is a compound that plays an important role in reducing the risk of atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of plaque in the arteries that can lead to a heart attack or a stroke. Sipping on the mellow Darjeeling tea brews can help keep your heart going strong. When it comes to sandwiches, scones and cake, portion control is key. She also enjoys them with fresh fruits in season. The former chef noted that the queen will also take the smallest sliver of cake. This meshes well with the advice of many nutritionists, it's not about cutting all sugars or carbs, it's about having small and controlled portions. No food is bad when it is not in excess. The American Heart Association says women should have less than 6 teaspoons, 25 grams, and men should have less than 9 teaspoons, 36 grams, per day. Chocolate The queen is a known chocolate lover. She particularly loved dark chocolate. The not-too-sweet dark chocolate is rich in powerful antioxidants that can help reduce inflammation and support heart health. Dinner. Unlike many featured in this healthy long life channel, the queen enjoyed her meat. While some sources say that Her Majesty prefers a relaxed meal of lamb, roast beef, mutton, grouse or salmon most evenings. Others say she enjoys a Sunday roast after church or Gaelic steak made from fillets of beef and venison, deer meat from Sandringham and Balmoral, served in a sauce of mushroom, cream and whiskey. Whichever type of meat it is, she doesn't do rare, only well done. Dr. Stuart Phillips of McMaster University said, older people are not consuming enough protein. They are not getting their recommended daily amount. They should be consuming a high quality protein five times a week and increase their activity. From a nutrient density standpoint, lean beef is going to win hands down. 
So, choosing high-quality lean parts of the meat cut balanced together with fruits, vegetables, one can enjoy meat which in turn would help longevity. A life with purpose. It is hard to quantify this precisely, but if we look at Queen Elizabeth, her life was centered around duty and service to her nation. She was performing her official duties well into her 90s. A growing body of study suggests that if you have a purpose in life, you're more likely to feel physically and mentally well on a daily basis. Having a sense of meaning in life is important to health. It becomes more important as we get older. But if you are thinking, wait a minute, if I don't have a lofty sense of purpose, is my life meaningless? Don't stress out. All you have to do is emphasize pursuing what you love and what is meaningful to you. This goes the same to the residents of Okinawa, Japan, one of the blue zones in the world where people live a long life. Follow the policy of never retiring. They have a strong purpose in life, a driving force that the Japanese call Ikigai. Find more about that in this video about blue zone diets.